All right, welcome back. And in this video, I, this is an update video on a previous one that I did where I talked about the absolute best content writer using ChatGPT, OpenAI. It blows them all away and it continues to get better. There was a recent upgrade and I wanna show you guys this because this is just so far ahead of all of the other writers that most of you uh, watching this have probably never even seen this thing. So this is gonna blow your mind. So the tool is called ZimWriter. Of course, I include a link below. So make sure you click on that link to get access to it. We're on version what we call 7.02 at this point. And what it is, is it's an interface that it is a desktop based application. So you can download it. It is Windows based. You can see here that I'm actually running a VPS. Uh, I'll include a link to the one that I use below, which is just basically a, a virtual private server that you can set up to, especially if you're Mac based, that you can run the software. It's no big deal. It's super cheap. So I'm not going to show you all the setup procedure for it, but you do need a API through OpenAI. It's very cheap. Most of your articles will be five cents or something like that. So don't, let's get that part out of the way before I even get started here. So, but some of the new updates here, as I'm gonna show you, I did go over how to generate like a ridiculous amount of local SEO pages and so forth using this that are awesome. But in particular, I wanna go through these two items right here just to show you how cool this is. Now, number one, let's go through this SEO blog writer. Previously, what I had done is shown you in a video what the benefit of adding what we would call like a global background or giving AI information in order to create content. So if I jump right back over here, this is what I made the video on using OpenAI's uh, playground area. The main benefit out of this is to be able to drop all this context information in here. This is resource information. So if you're writing um, information about a given topic, you can scrape content from whatever web page or resource and drop it all in here. Then when you command the AI to write the content or a blog post or whatever it is, it's gonna use this reference material in order to write your content. So that works really well, okay? So if you have access to the playground, and of course on the playground, you can use whatever model you have available. You can use GPT 3.5, or of course, if you have it, you'd use GPT 4, which allows you more tokens and so forth. You can use a much longer um, uh, content section here. You can add more content in there. Now, if you wanna go that route, that's completely fine, but that's a little bit more laborious. You have to copy and paste all your prompts, all that sort of stuff. What a tool like Zimmerator does is expedites this process massively with a lot of additional benefits. So I'm just gonna go through this here to show you. For example, we would use the SEO blog writer. You could set your blog post title. So you would do all your other research. You would write the name of your blog post title in here. This section in particular, as you see here is optional, is where you're gonna put that information. It's very similar to what I just showed you on the playground. So you can put that information in there. Now, this is the part that everybody's been waiting on. The problem with ChatGPT and Playground is there is no internet access. So what happened here in ZimWriter does have uh, access to the internet. So right here, you see in these two sections where it says scrape all URLs. So what you can actually do in this software is you can put your background information in there or you can just literally paste a URL. So if you put a URL in there, it can scrape that URL. It will actually go to that page. It'll send that information to OpenAI and it will summarize the information on that page to gather the global background information. I'll give you a demo on this in a second. So I know this is just mind boggling here how awesome this is. But once it creates that global background information, then we can do all of our other usual things. So for example, we can set the number of H2s that we want in our writing, which obviously you have to get in, dive into the details of SEO, but those of you who see the benefit of this will see immensely uh, how quickly this is gonna be useful for cutting down on the amount of time it takes to write content. We can generate H2s using only the AI. We can also generate those H2s with AI plus that information from the global background. So we could take our competitors H2s and the information that's on these pages or the URLs we supply and it will generate the list of H2s. That is freaking awesome.
So we can also individually put in H2s. So for every H2, let's say for an article, there are different headings that you have on the page, then you can put specific background information into each one of these. So what that'll do, for example, if you're doing some kind of a product review, you can actually go get information about each product that you're reviewing and paste it right inside of there so that the AI will use that information about that product to write those H2 sections. Okay, if you're not, mind is not blown by now, I don't know how to help you. This is super, super amazing. So down here at the bottom, once we get through that, you could also trigger what's called a product layout. That's what I, I didn't talk about, but this is a lot of information here to go through, but this would actually have a layout for pros and cons and so forth in there if you're using product reviews. And of course, there are walkthrough videos of this that, um, that Matt provides after you subscribe to the software. So don't worry about that. You don't have to figure it out on your own. So when you go down here, you could also configure certain options, how long you want those sections to be, the kind of voice that it talks in, okay? We could also enable all of these additional device uh, aspects that will clean up and improve the content. And down here, there's just a bunch of additional options, okay? It could be translated to non-English language. That's if you're using GPT-4, so he's got a lot of questions on that. And then of course, we can optionally add in different types of keywords. You can let the AI select the keywords for you, or you can put in all your manual keywords. So if you have those semantic keywords, those natural language processing keywords, things that you would get from Surfer SEO, or you would get from Phrase or Neuron Writer, you would paste those in here. And of course, at the bottom, you get the opportunity to pick which model you want. If you're using GPT 3.5, which is subscriber, you could use GPT-4 or the older model, which is Text Da Vinci, and that way you can save money and tokens and so forth, uh, or what you're paying uh, for those tokens with the model you're selecting. Okay, and then when you're done, you could hit that and it will pump out your content for you. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now, real quick, I also just want to show you the bulk blog writer. So those of you who have huge amounts of content, and I'm gonna show you a process that you can actually do in another video coming up soon here, where you can actually take all of your keyword research and create uh, custom clusters where you can put them all together and create lists of blog post titles, and you can literally paste those in here. So if you look at this, it could say up to a thousand titles. So people are generating hundreds of articles that are hitting the mark with all of the keywords and blog post titles, just getting immense amount of uh, content on their websites. And of course, with this uh, bulk blog writer, we don't have all of the options with the, as we did with that individual SEO writer, but there's a lot of the same elements here to push out some bulk content. So you would use this to build up a lot of keyword um, ranking. And then of course you would use the individual SEO writer for that high quality content posting. And then you would link everything in together. So that's a lot of stuff. I did wanna just make this video just because this tool is so amazing and I have to recommend it. Of course, I'm gonna put a link to this below the video. So be sure to check that out. And I'm gonna have some videos coming up soon about some of this, uh, some of these additional features and so forth and how I'm actually using them. So I hope this is helpful here. If you like this kind of uh, review on these kind of awesome products, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, comment below, because comments are always great for engagement and help improve my reach and viewership. And subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell so you get notified every time I come up with something like this. I've got some hot and amazing new AI tools coming up that I want to talk about and uh, get to using them. This thing is super dear, cheap, sim uh, cheap and simple to use. So I highly, highly recommend that you get on this and get moving, creating some awesome content. And I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.